Hello guys, this is RetroTK2 and today we're back making a Pokemon ROM hack and yeah, so last time we put on our Trello about different warp sections in the game. How we're going to do that, we're not sure. So we're going to definitely look into that today. So let's open up Advanced Map, pretty much the exact same place as we were before. So with Advanced Map, there are things called movement permissions and you can also update the viewing sprite just by going double. These we don't necessarily need yes, but it's definitely good. Well, we will of course need them, but we don't necessarily need them now for the warp. But really the way that this is should hopefully be fairly obvious. So C is anywhere that the player can walk normally. One is where the player can't walk. And zero and ten. Pretty much the way that it works is that so C is anywhere where the player can walk. I believe zero is the same as C. I'm not really sure if that's correct or not by all means uh, you can look at this stuff all online yes I just kind of don't really want to do it because it's not really the main focus of the episode but usually the the way it works is that one is the ground level the other one is pretty much where you can't walk and there's another one which is usually like 10 I've seen 10 used quite a lot is an upper level sort of as if you're walking on actually that could be what the zero is it's like steps so you're stepping onto the upper level or something like that. I could be completely wrong in this case. I don't really want to spend too much time on this here because it isn't really what I want to do in this video. This is what I want to do in this video. So go to the viewing size, go to double the events. And as you can see, we already have our events uh, on. If you can't see them, yes, I believe if you, yeah, if you can't see these, yes, I believe the way to do it is to put on, click the show sprites. I th you should be able to see these little boxes anyway. So if you click on these boxes, you can see that they're events. So one's a signpost, which is interesting because that's the actual computer. So it's weird that it's labeled as a signpost, but okay. These are all sort of signposts. And this big W is our warp. So this is the thing that we all need to manipulate in order to be able to move to different sections. So let's go and see this in action. So let's go and load up our Pokemon Visual Boy Advance and click on open to open your hacked your rom hack and navigate to where it is and click open now this is a common thing that you'll get yes it's kind of surprising the way that uh, visual boy does this so it'll load into a white screen and obviously that's not correct so click close go to options and click on emulator go to save type and we want to just go from flash 64k to flash 128k and believe it or not yes that actually is as simple as that fix is okay yes so now if we actually load it up you'll see that we get the white screen of death we close it and we also have to make sure that we delete our save the previous save file because it's pretty much not big enough and it won't create, it won't override that save file. So we go down, change the save type to flash128, and then we open our ROM, and we should get a wonderful plane of the actual game. So let's have a three. And we'll majorly slow down as we go on. Yes, we have all played Pokemon. We all know how it goes. This can also be good though, Ace, because it allows us to get through the game as quickly as possible. So I'm also going to place uh, the space bar because it allows you to go super quick. So anybody who's never ever played Pokemon before, I would probably suggest uh, giving it a go on your own because it is a fantastic game. Um, I mean, People wouldn't mod it as much as they do if it wasn't a good game uh, but yeah so now I'm going to press enter and just go to save ah, gonna say <laughs> uh, Z I believe is the mapping for the a key on the keyboard doesn't really matter is just as long as you can turn it off uh, I believe you can go to tools no sorry options and joypad if you wanted to configure a joypad we probably will do that as the game goes on or as the development should I say goes on but for now really it's just nice and quick and easy so we're just sort of exploring it 
using the arrow keys you can move all this fun stuff so the actual thing that we oh i didn't know that actually i thought you actually had the explicitly i wonder if that works with the computer as well no so you actually you actually have to press a in order to boot into the computer i didn't know that okay so th these are different types of behavior that we're probably gonna have to be aware of sorry yes major lag <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. Maybe I'm you know, just not giving the, the game the credit it deserves. So anyway, yeah, let's, uh, this is the thing that we want to emulate. So this is warping back and forth. And yeah, fairly standard. So let's close out of that and let's go back into our advanced map. Open your ROM. I believe we've covered that in the last episode. So yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Just make sure you don't actually <laughs> load up the other ROM. Sort map by name and let's get into Palatine. So yeah, nothing too crazy there he is. So the events, this is the warp that we're gonna change. So if we bring this down to here, save and head back into our game. Let's open this one up. So I'm just gonna go and quickly fly through this, of course. You'll see that we, uh, nothing's changed. So if I actually step over it, no, okay, there's no, Nothing's going on here, fair enough. And we can also go down, but we can't actually go downstairs. So we have actually changed the game. We, we can't move down the stairs, but we also can't warp to the previous location, if that makes sense. And the reason for that is because the actual warps themselves are associated with tiles, which I thought was a wee bit interesting. I actually thought you would be able to just upgrade this warp script and you know play around with the actual values but no really the actual the whole thing is based on an actual map tile so this map tile i believe is the one that is the one that allows us to warp essentially um there is other ones there's these ones uh, these are like door tiles i believe now i'm looking around yes because there is other values i want to see but i cannot for the life of me find them Unless they are in other, another version of Advanced Map. Maybe I've got a, an earlier version. There is other tiles now that has been added to a version of Advanced Map that I was playing around on. We will press on for now, yes, um, but I will definitely be coming back to that. Yeah, so we've placed that, but now it is important that you actually place it on top of the warp. So now that if we boot up, well, we first of all, save and head into our visual boy rom and of course do this i'm gonna to have to make a save state for this pretty soon yes uh, because this is really irritating you'll see that we actually can't even move look this is this is a weird one yeah this is a weird sort of behavior that i spotted myself so i tell you what we'll fix that first here we're going to go in and i'm going to just pretty much add this warp to the top this is yeah i'll show you it so we'll, we'll keep the warp at the top the way it was before so we'll save and then we'll head back into visual boy advanced oh, control o. i'm sure there's a quicker way to do this yes as we get further into development we will make this a lot better but so now i've relinked it so we can go downstairs we go back upstairs and you'll see that the actual tile has changed which sort of definitely uh it, it gives me a bit of hope for the actual, the fact that you're able to save tiles. And I don't know whether that saves all maps. I think it's only the current map that you're on. But the fact that you can save, but the fact that it actually saves certain map tiles means that there's probably some way to actually save them to the actual ROM. But again, maybe getting ahead of ourselves. So now, as you see, that we can actually walk over this tile, but we can't walk past it. So the actual uh, behavior is correct for this map tile. The thing is that it just needs a warp in order to be linked up. So let's go and create a warp. So in order to create a warp, you go to here and you pretty much just re-increment this up to one, go to change advantage and go for search for bytes and then repoint. Now the other version of um, advanced map didn't have that. It just sort of did all that for me. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I don't know whether that one's out of date and I'm almost certain that this one's an out of date version is because it doesn't have the nice uh, controls. So I will update the first video to point to the correct version. So now we have a warp point and as you can see the warp point is, yeah the warp points are sort of numbered. So this one's zero, this one's one. That'll become important a bit later. But for now we're just going to pretty much direct these warp points to the exact same point. So to warp number two, which is warp number two on the next map that you're going to go to. Then we also want the map bank, which is four zero. So the map bank is four for a pallet and then zero for, well, the downstairs of the actual, your character's house. Was it two? Sorry. No, zero. Sorry about that is. So now if we go to go to, you save the changes. Yes, absolutely. And you can see we go to the bottom of the stairs and then go to brings us back up. That is a lovely, lovely feature. Believe me, is just being able to pop back and forth between the two. So let's see if that's actually worked. So we'll save it. We'll go back into open and we will skip forward. Now, I believe this is the correct way to do this is by all means say in the comments if uh, this will actually cause errors because I'm worried about, of course, causing errors. But as you can see, it actually <laughs> does warp. How cool is that? So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much that. So if we go back into close the game and we go back into here, we can also add in pretty much a full stairs map and have him actually going down two sets of stairs. Now, I don't know who designed this house. I want to get onto the architect red, but uh, it's a stairs going down, so it should, this should all work. And if it doesn't work, sure. <laughs> we'll come back and have a little look at it is. So let's get back in. And let's get, <sighs> yeah, I definitely need to create a safe state is. But as you can see, we go downstairs. Although, does he actually even go downstairs in this one? No, he just sort of walks across, but it gives you the illusion. I always thought that he... I might actually slow that down, yes. That's, that's probably the reason why it fades to black. He definitely rises as he goes up. But I don't think he... I don't think he descends. No he, does, he does, no, he definitely does descend, if you can see. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? No, he definitely descends, and he's descending there as well. I don't know if he was descending earlier, but he probably was, to be honest, yes. So, yeah, I mean, that's the first part. So we have created a very, oops, a very basic um, warp system. And I th think... You know, I think it'll do for an episode there, Ace. So I will leave it at that. Uh, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, Ace. I hope you're enjoying this series. <laughs> you can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with any sort of information about ROM hacking Pokemon because Lord knows I'm going to need it in the if this series takes off. Uh, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.